No doubt you heard about today's big Delta Airlines meltdown. Well, tonight, Consumer Reporter John Mattery shows you how to protect yourself from a flight cancellation if you're planning a vacation. But first, do you really need to reset your Walmart password? What do you say, John? Well, Tanya, several 90 Your Side viewers have contacted me the past few days asking if they really need to reset their Walmart password. The short answer, no. You see, a sophisticated phishing email is going around. It tells you to reset your password from Walmart.com. But instead, it actually takes you to a phony site that may download malware into your computer. Walmart says do not click on any links in this email. This one, however, is legit. Are you with me? Checks arriving in the mail from something called the Affinian Settlement. Now, this settles thousands of complaints from people who bought movie or concert tickets online, then ended up with unwanted monthly charges. A company called Affinian Group signed them up for an unexpected club membership. Many people are now getting checks for around 10 bucks. By now, most of us have heard about the big Delta Airlines meltdown this morning, where thousands of passengers had to wait hours after all Delta flights were grounded. But what if you are planning a trip in the future? Well, we have some suggestions to give you a bit of an edge if your flight is suddenly canceled. Delta passengers arriving at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Airport Monday morning were greeted by this. Handwritten signs on check-in kiosks, hundreds of flights canceled or delayed. Many travelers never got alerts before leaving home. I'm pissed. Really? I got no notification, no emails, no, no anything, no call to say this has happened. So I'm outrageous right now. By afternoon, Delta's computers were up again, but passengers like Joe Moosey were still suffering the hangover. We missed our connection flight, so it's a two and a half hour wait in Atlanta for another flight to Missouri. So it, it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. This is the second shutdown of an airline this summer. Southwest Airlines was earlier, which leaves travelers wondering how to protect themselves in the future. Here's what I do the day before a flight. I get on Kayak or the airport's website and find other flights on other airlines to my destination that day, just in case there's any problem with my plane. For instance, if your Delta flight to Orlando is canceled, it's helpful to know American has two later flights. That way you can run to that other airline's counter before anyone else. AAA, meantime, suggests buying travel insurance if your flight involves a cruise ship, tour, or resort. So if you're delayed... I'll be late, but I'll be fine. It won't destroy your vacation. Now, as for your rights, airlines are required to rebook you without penalty if your flight is canceled or offer a refund if they can't fly you out that day. Delta, in fact, is doing just that tonight. If you're driving meantime, it is Cheap Gas Monday, and Ron McKitty reports that Murphy USA in Hamilton is 209 a gallon. Kermit Balmers is in Kentucky. Thornton's in Florence is 205. And our friend in Indiana, Terry Hankin Burns, found Valero in Aurora at 215. If you're headed to Tennessee, Georgia, or Alabama, lots of stations are now below two bucks. Good prices, you don't waste your money.